In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, to resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and Judah. In those days, in that time, I will raise up for David a just shoot. He shall do what is right and just in the land. In those days, Judah shall be safe, and Jerusalem shall dwell secure. This is what they shall call her, the Lord our justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response, to you, O Lord, I lift my soul. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and for you I wait all the day long. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice and teaches the humble his way. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. All paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy towards those who keep his, co his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for their instruction. To you, O Lord, I lift my soul. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. Amen. Finally, brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that as you received from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. 
Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have enjoyed a really beautiful and awesome week here in our little paradise, and I hope everybody had as good a Thanksgiving as I got to enjoy. Went out on Thanksgiving Day and had a wonderful, huge turkey dinner over at the Laughlin River Lodge. And then yesterday, got to go up to Great American Pizza for their specialty this week, a turkey calzone. Turkey and mashed potatoes and gravy, all stuffed into a huge calzone. I'll be eating it for the next several days uh, and enjoyed every, every bit of it. And so we have so much for which to be thankful, and that's good. And sometimes, I, you know, I, I criticize our American bishops, but I just heard that the bishops of New Zealand had authorized that they're going to have a separate mass for the unvaccinated. I can't think of anything worse that could happen in a church than doing that. So we need to be grateful for our bishops here. <clears throat> we start a new church year this weekend with the season of Advent. We're wearing the purple, we have the Advent wreath, and the colors are changed in the church. And this year we begin the church year in cycle C. And cycle C is the cycle in which we read mainly from the Gospel of St. Luke as our Gospels. And then St. Luke's Gospel is known for having the most beautiful and intricate stories of the miracles that Jesus worked, healing people, physical healing, but also beautiful stories about the other miracles of Jesus. And it's also in Luke's Gospel that we find one half of all of the infancy narratives. Matthew and Luke are the only two that give us those. But from Luke's stories of the birth of Jesus, we get all five of our joyful mysteries of the rosary. And so we owe a lot to St. Luke, and we look forward to him very, very much uh, during this coming year in Cycle C. And in Advent, we have a couple of traditions in our parish that we are going to continue this year. One is that all the Masses at which we have music, we're going to sing Silent Night on each of the Sundays of Advent. Silent Night is such a beautiful song, and everybody knows it, and it's a good reminder to us who we're getting ready to celebrate on Christmas Day. It keeps that focused in our mind. So should you attend other Masses here on which we have music, Silent Night will be sung every weekend during the season of Advent. And don't be afraid of the facts of this season. You know, that thing in your living room is a Christmas tree. It's not a Hanukkah bush. It's not a holiday shrub. It's a Christmas tree. Don't be afraid to say it. Merry Christmas is the proper greeting for this season. That's why we gather on December 25th. It's not the winter holiday. It's not the solstice. We're not hugging trees. It's the birth of Jesus. So Merry Christmas is the appropriate greeting. And then as we've done in the past here, and I found it's, it's very popular, on each of the Sundays of Advent, we look back 25 or 50 or 75 or 100 years to things that were in our past. And this year, on this first Sunday of Advent, I want to look back at things 25 years ago. And that was in 1996. There were several TV shows that began in 1996. Something called Silent Witness, I'm not terribly familiar with it, uh, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch, not terribly familiar with that either, but Everybody Loves Raymond started in 1996, 25 years ago, and it ran for almost 10 full seasons. Third Rock from the Sun, beautiful story too, which I enjoyed, started in 1996, as well as Seventh Heaven, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, Spin City, and Nash, um, Nash Bridges. But perhaps the one that's lingered the most, Judge Judy, began in 1996. 
you can still watch reruns of her, and I think she's still making you know new episodes like that, all back 25 years ago. Several inventions date from 1996. The DVD was invented in 1996. How often we use those even today? Nintendo 64, the first big popular home gaming device. Parents might still remember that in 1996, the popular Christmas toy was Tickle Me Elmo. You could probably still hear those sounds in your ears from people playing with it. And the website Fandango began for ordering movie tickets online. It was something new and exciting. And two drugs came out in 1996. One is Aricept. Aricept was an early drug for the treatment of Alzheimer's. My mother took Aricept. She was one of the earliest people taking Aricept. And it really did a lot of good. You'd be amazed at the difference it made. So Aricept is something that began in 1996. And I have a personal connection with that. My own mother was taking that. The other drug that came out in 1996 was Viagra. I know nothing about that. <laughs> in Luke's Gospel today, we have a beautiful line from Jesus. He says, be vigilant at all times. Pray that you have strength. Be vigilant and pray that you have strength. I'd suggest that those are good lines of advice for us as we go into this season of Advent. The first one is get ready for Christmas. Do the things that you need to do for preparation, but do them with the coming of Jesus in mind. The fact that Christmas comes every year reminds us that Christmas makes a difference. The world is different and the world can be different because we believe in the coming of Jesus into our world. Secondly, be vigilant, be aware of opportunities to spread that message of Christmas, to share that message of Christmas. It's a fact. It's something that we need to make the world more aware of as we go along. And finally, be sure to pray. Pray that you have the strength to do what's right, to think what's right, to say what's right, what the Lord wants you to say during this season. So being vigilant and being prayerful is something we can take from Luke's Gospel home with us today. God bless you. We stand together for the words of our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With great trust and hope, we bring our prayers to God, our loving Father. We pray for our church and all those who continue to pass along God's message to us. We pray to the Lord, Lord for peace in our world, for the protection of the men and women in our military forces, for those Christians who are persecuted. We pray to the Lord, Lord for all those who are sick in mind or body, all those who need our prayers this week because of their illnesses, and all those who care for the sick. And among those we keep in our prayers are Sally Reddick, Chuck Sperando, Sherry Sims, Vaughn Peterson and Jan Martin. For them and for all the sick within our own families and friends, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord and among those who have died, we ask your prayers for Carol, Carol Guiley, for her, her family, and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the people of Waukesha, Wisconsin, that God would bless them, for those who have lost loved ones, those who have been injured, those who have had loved ones who were injured because of that attack last Sunday, we pray to the Lord. Lord this being still the month of November, for all the faithful departed, particularly those with whom we were associated, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the special intentions of this Mass, for the happy repose of the soul of Greg Sini. So for Greg and his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks for your blessings. Keep us aware of the grace and strength that only you can give. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the souls of the church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Who are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mm -hmm. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her together in the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. John the Baptist, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the world, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We invite those who are at home and unable to come to Mass who are watching this online. Please join with Deacon Richard in the prayer for spiritual Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul and body. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, into my soul, and into my body. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 Remind you that tickets for our Christmas party are on sale in the church office after Mass as well as during the week. They're $25 each or a table of 10 for $250. Party is on December the 10th, a Friday night, and that's going to be in the Starview Room at the Riverside, and the theme will be the American States, so we're honoring the states. If you purchase a table, you can name it for whatever state is still left on the list. We're up to about 340 people coming to join us for the event. Uh, so far. You've all heard about the supply chain problems in America, and you might be wondering why we don't have new copies for the word and song that we would sell to you to use during the year, which begins this weekend. Uh, they're caught in the supply chain problems. Uh, when we call the company, they tell us, we don't know when you'll get them. We're hoping they arrive sometime during Advent but they're good for the whole year. And as soon as they arrive, we'll put them out. They're $5 each, and no matter what happens, you can have one back and forth uh, from, uh, from here. In the meantime, not caught in the supply chain problems, we have copies of the Word Among Us. It's a free resource. It doesn't have the hymns in it, but it does have all the readings for Advent in it. They're available on the glass top table. They're available in the magazine racks uh, between the two bathrooms. Please take home a copy. We have plenty. We can replenish the racks if you clean them out tonight. So we do have plenty. This is a free resource, and this somehow made it through uh, the supply chain problems. People have asked us about calendars. I got the same response from the calendar company. We don't know when you'll receive them. We're hoping they come before 2022 is over. Uh, <laughs> that's the best we can do. And next weekend, we'll have information. Christmas, as you know, falls on a Saturday, so it's going to change the weekend schedule that weekend. And also, the Holy Day of Obligation, December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, falls on a Wednesday. And so we'll have to arrange mass schedules for that. Uh, those will all be available next weekend, and we'll be happy to share them with you. Again, please don't forget, take home a copy of this so you have your own copy for the readings for Advent. We occasionally celebrate significant birthdays uh, here at the parish, and almost all of our birthdays involve two digits, usually in the higher numbers uh, that we have. But we do have a single-digit birthday tonight. And Paxton, I know you're sitting over there. You come up, please. And you are three years old, if I think. And you have been coming to Mass since birth. birthday too. Is that true? Congratulations to you as well, but you're not a single digit. <laughs> as you leave Mass today, we encourage you to pick up a copy of The Word Among Us. Again, the glass top tables are in the magazine rack. Uh, and also, if you come up to Deacon Richard and I, uh, we have uh, a little package of cookies for each family uh, to celebrate Paxton's birthday. <laughs> so you can take them home for your family to celebrate. Please stand and let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now go in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.